By the show of hands, how many of you guys currently own or have owned a car before? Okay, all right. And like most people that have the responsibility of owning a car, you get regular maintenance and basic repairs done to your car, right? Uh, maybe. Okay. Now, now, do you take your vehicles to an auto repair shop or do you do the repairs yourself? I do the repairs myself. Okay. So how's your experiences been with either either, either one? Uh, horrible. Good both horrible. I, don't, I, horrible. I regret choosing them. Okay. Well, that, that reminds me of a time recently, um, December 30th of last year to be exact. Um, uh, pretty bad experience at that. Um, I had to take the family car to get an oil change. And the wife suggested that I take the family car to a local repair shop that has a bad reputation for poor customer service and bad work. So, like they say, happy wife, happy life. I take the family vehicle to this repair shop to have the oil changed. And it's one of those shops that you pull in and they do the work as you're sitting there, uh, sitting there waiting for them to complete the job. Okay, so um, I'm sitting there, I'm on my, my smartphone, I'm updating my Instagram and my Facebook, and I hear a loud ping noise in the engine. And it was enough to catch my attention. So I look up and to see what was going on. And I just assumed that the workers were doing their job. You know, this is part of the work environment. So, and about a few minutes later, um, the same situation where a loud ping hit the engine again. And, and I look up and I see the mechanic. He looks at me and he has a, a look of guilt on his face as if he's done something wrong. So I lean out of the car and ask him, is everything okay? And he says, everything's fine. So make a long story short, um, the oil change is complete. I pay for the service, then I leave. About five miles after uh, leaving the shop, I noticed that the thermometer shoots sky high and the car starts smoking. So immediately I take it back to the shop and I try to figure out what, what went wrong. As a result, it just caused a big chaotic mess. Um, I had to get a rental car on their behalf and they had to tow our family car to get fixed. And on top of that, my wife had to be, be at work within the next hour. So needless to say, very stressful event, but it's an experience that um, I could sum up that wasn't, wasn't great, you know, all within itself. But in, in, this, in, in this part of the, the speech, I'm going to just demonstrate why it's important to learn how to do the repairs yourself so that you don't run into these kind of problems in the future. Okay. Now what you're going to start with is a jack stand. I would suggest having two jack stands that you can get put underneath the car and secure it underneath the frame and then elevate to get the car off the ground. Also, not pictured, um, you need a catch, a catch pan, which is basically a pan that you drain the dirty oil into to get out of the engine. And this, what I have in my hand, is a 5 8 socket with a wrench. This is what you need to unscrew the oil plug. The oil plug is what's screwed onto the, the oil pan. Once you get it unscrewed, let the oil drain into the catch pan. And once it's drained, screw the, the, the uh, oil plug onto the oil pan. Secure it tight so that no oil, that the fresh oil won't leak. And from there, you take, you remove the old oil filter. And usually this process can be done by hand or with a tool that's called a, uh, oil filter wrench and you just remove the old filter and you put the new filter on okay now once you've completed that process you go under the hood of the engine and there's a cap that specifically says engine oil you remove the cap and then once it's removed you take your funnel and then you put your funnel down into the engine and then you take your motor oil, which is uh, five quarts, take your motor oil and you pour your oil into the funnel, which is inside of the engine. 
once all of the oil has been emptied out of the, the, the jug, you uh, take the funnel out and put the engine cap on. Now that's how you complete an oil change. Now also what I like to offer along with it, reasons why I feel that it's, it's uh, vital that you learn how to do the repairs and maintenance to your vehicles yourself is for one, you don't run the risk of possibly having uh, poorly trained mechanics work on your car or, or just in general, just shady business uh, or shady technicians trying to get extra money out of you. Uh, another reason is uh, it could be rewarding to see the progress and performance of your vehicle based upon the work that you put into it. And lastly, it, it's definitely uh, good.